Skypop is a very simple plugin. All it does is save lighting profiles for you. So given the current scene that we're in, if we made some modifications to the lighting here, so let's say we make it dark, uh, we could come up to the Skypop profiles plugin here and we could name it, let's say dark and hit save. And just like that, we've created this folder here under server storage called dark. And that contains everything that we saved right there. At any point, we can then click on another profile, such as bright, and we can load that in. We can go around and load any of the ones we want right away. Now this all works with your undo and redo within studio. So if you make a, a change that you didn't like, or you accidentally saved or something you didn't mean to, you can always undo your changes as expected. In terms of where these save, by default, they are gonna dump right into server storage. However, it is smart about where it goes. And so if you create, for instance, a profiles folder and you start putting them under profiles, it will start saving under there instead. So for instance, if I wanted these under replicated storage and I called it uh, lights, well now all of a sudden, if I start making another profile, it's gonna save under this folder as well. So it's gonna try to pick the folder that it sees the most of your profiles under and use that. Also with the plugin is a little module importer right here. So if I click that, it's gonna throw a module script under server script service. You can move this module to wherever you want, uh, but this is just going to allow you to load in those profiles during runtime. So obviously the plugin lets you save and load during studio, but if you wanna load these profiles while the game is running from another script, you can use this module to do it. And it's really easy to use. All we have to do is require the plugin, and then we call the load lighting function with the profile folder. So for instance, if you wanted to load the dark folder here, it would look something like, in this case, replicated storage.lights.dark. And that will load in the lighting settings right away. And that's all you have to do.